what you give is what you get garbage in garbage out and i dare say garbage out garbage in these are phrases that we've had for a very long time in our lives but did you know that they're absolutely true yes they go hand in hand with the law of attraction you attract what you give and by the end of this story we are going to see how these statements are true through the life of a farmer and a baker stay tuned Hey, welcome back. I'm glad you clicked in and thank you so much for your continued support. I am because we are. This YouTube channel is alive because you keep on watching and you keep coming back. If you've not yet subscribed, now is the time to do so. Like, comment, share and click that notification bell on. You won't miss a single video each time that I upload. A story is told about a farmer and a baker. They lived in the same town and the farmer used to buy bread from the baker from time to time and this continued for a long time until one day the farmer told the baker that he has some butter and he would like to be selling it to him for a pound. After some deliberation the baker decided that why not try and buy the butter from the farmer and this continued the baker started buying butter from the farmer and after a long period of time the baker started noticing that the butter was not the equal measure of grams it was not like the right amount of, of grams that is supposed to be and he got so annoyed after he realized that this continues from day to day that the butter that is coming from the farmer the weight is not the same this prompted him to go to court yes he had had enough and he decided that he will go to court to sue the farmer for giving him less than what he paid for and the day came and the court case was in process and the judge asked the former hey do you use proper scales to weigh your butter the farmer with all the decorum that he has he, i think he was a bit proud and confident of himself he said your honor i'm a pretty man i don't have equal measure to every butter but i do have a scale and the judge was a bit hesitant as he looked at the farmer and wondered what has gone through this man's mind. Then he went ahead and said, So what do you use to measure and weigh your butter? The farmer's response left everybody in shock. You see, before the farmer started selling the butter to the baker, he used to buy bread from the baker and he had done this for a very long time and here is his response Yona, long before the baker started buying butter from me i have been buying bread for a pound from him every day and every day when the baker brings the bread i put it on the scale and give him the exact measure the exact weight in the butter if anyone is to be blamed it is the baker. Yes, the judge had nothing else to say because he realized that the farmer gave the exact weight of the bread that he received from the baker in return with the butter. The baker was not just in his scales. How did he expect the farmer to be just too? Yes, and after I came across this story, uh, I couldn't help but think, and uh, I don't know if you've ever thought of this, that have you ever bought bread? It's always written 400 grams, but have you ever decided or gotten curious and tried to weigh the bread? And I mean no harm to any company or any baker. Yes, this is just a simple illustration, and most probably the times that I've tried to weigh the bread has not been 400 grams. I'll not say what I've found, but you go and try. And I believe that what you give out there is what you receive. You cannot expect more than you give. And as you go out there with your day, maybe you're complaining that in your circles of friendship or in your circles at work, people always come with negative energy. But pause and ask yourself, how much of that negative energy do I contribute? Yes, you are here asking yourself, why do people not call me or check on me? Ask the same question to yourself. How many people do you call or check on every day? 
And it's time we stop being entitled. It's time we stop being feeling this feeling of entitlement because you can't give a half and expect to get it in full. What you give is what you get. You can't go to your laptop or your computer and put all the things that you don't need in the recycle bin and then go to the recycle bin expecting to find that the things have been added. No. What you give, it's given back to you in equal measure, shaken together. Even the word of God says that as you give, you're given back equal measure, shaken together, running over. So, what energies are you giving out there? What kind and quality of relationships are you making out there? What vibe are you passing by? Are you the fun, the party? Are you the positive energy? Do you receive the same? If you find that some areas of, of your lives are wanting, just check on the quality of life you give unto others. Because life is very fair. Some of us may have an argument about how life is unfair, how life is fair. But in my school of thought, I think life is very fair. It gives you exactly what you give out. So, you need some peace? Create an environment of peace. You need a safe space for you to be able to open up? Create that first yourself. You need encouragement? Be an encourager. Even if it is to yourself, you need a shoulder to lean on. Give it out there because what you give is what comes back. And don't go on passing the acts of kindness and being compassionate and having empathy, expecting it in return. No. Do it from a fair point. Do it from a genuine place. And life is fair enough to give you what you receive. Don't be like the baker that he went to court seeking redress and seeking to have justice while he himself was very unjust and didn't have any morality in him. The way it was not the same. Well, how did he expect someone else to be just? Yeah. So, check on yourself. Check on the things that you are receiving and ask yourself the things that you aspire to give. Do you give them out there? You want a kind friend, are you kind? Be what you want to see in our people. Give what you want to be given unto you. Yes. Even we are told, do unto others as you'd love to be done unto you. Until next Saturday, stay safe and stay blessed. Thank you.